So today I want to do an acrylic painting in plein air and that can be a little tricky because your paints dry really quick but I'm going to use uh, one of the techniques that I explored in a previous video where I actually oil up the canvas you might say with this retarder gel and essentially what I want to try to do here today is replicate my studio techniques of doing an under, underpainting then doing a, a full value, full color painting and then go in with the thick paint over the top and I let each of those steps dry completely in between. Now the, um, the main secret to keeping your paint wet in your palette and on your canvas is to keep a lot of thick paint uh, on, your, on your brush. Another thing I did was um, I, I sealed my canvas. I used just a, a, a very coarse like a number 10 canvas and then um, sealed it. So it has a lot of texture even though it's, it's very well sealed. But the paint won't, won't absorb into the canvas at all. If I were to paint it at just a gesso canvas, the acrylic would just dry almost instantly. Now here's my motif that I'm going to do today, but of course I'm going to take out that little camper or whatever. Well, the first thing I want to do is just lightly draw in my motif and then sort of scumble in some basic colors just to get things started. This is basically a drawing at this point. You can see the paint's really quite dry. There's not a lot of water in it and it's not really very thick. I switched over to a round here just to draw a little bit better. I was using a flat there, a bristle flat. And I'm just keeping the pigment very, very thin, just trying to make a lot of progress quickly of just blocking in the color. You can see the paint really isn't very thick here. I'm getting a little bit thicker. Always keep your palette nice and wet. Today it's about 70 degrees, so I've got to make sure the paint stays wet. I'm just drawing. I'm going to lose this drawing eventually, but uh, sometimes it's good just to kind of solidify it in your own mind. So what I'm going to do here is use this retarding gel and just lay it on really thick just like I would do a G gel application with an oil painting. So I'm just basically oiling up the canvas here. I'm using my palette knife just a little bit here trying to get the paint up a little bit thicker. And with this retarding gel on there I can start making very thick applications of paint. Now it dried on me fairly quickly. I was a little surprised by that. Like I say, it's, it's 70 degrees and there's a bit of a, of a breeze. So I had to oil up the canvas already twice. And I'm just painting into that retarding gel and it's working out really good. So the gel is still really quite wet at this point. Just adding some more detail. I'm using a lot of broken color here, trying to build the paint up a little bit thicker. You can see where the retarding gel sometimes makes the paint a little bit transparent, but it still works pretty good. Now the paint is totally dried, and I've oiled it up one more time just to go back in and paint into the retarding gel with a little bit more detail. So I'm using around and just very carefully putting in the fence posts, uh, other detail like limbs and uh, little bits of color here and there.